Mike with RC for us here. Just another quick little video because I've been getting tons of questions about my fire team and this SLT3 controller that it comes with. Everybody's worried about not being able to adjust certain things with this because of the cheaper basic style of controller this is, but there is a trick that's not in the owner's manual or really anywhere that I found to set the endpoints on this fire team using this stock controller. Now I am still technically using this controller. I haven't bound it to my DX5 yet. That will be coming soon. But for now it's still bound to this and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set your endpoints. Maybe help you save that factory servo a little longer. Plus it's just better on the system to be working properly anyway. So let me get a battery chucked in this and we'll get right into how you set the endpoints with this. Okay guys, I'm back. We've got a battery in it, just a 4S battery. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Like I said, I'm just setting the endpoints on it. So you get your battery in and plugged in. Make sure you got your good batteries in, the, in your controller, your remote, transmitter, whatever you want to call it. And this is just going to be a combination of holding the steering wheel full right and holding the trigger full brake as you turn the remote on. And that'll cause this light to flash on the front of it. And once it starts flashing, you can let go of this and you can power on the rig. Once you get the rig on to set the endpoints, you turn the steering wheel all the way to the right and it'll turn the wheels and you'll be able to use the AB switch for the third channel to bring out the wheel farther or tow the, the tire in closer. Um, you're gonna hear on the fire team, the servo in the back working because you're actually using the button that that's program to so don't worry about that it's not going to hurt anything it's just how it is if you don't like that unplug it i suppose you can unplug it somewhere along here but okay guys so we're going to hold full right and full brake and hit the power button and now see the light flashing so i let off this and it goes to normal now i can power on the truck okay so it's on and now you can take and turn the wheel to the right and i don't know if you can how good you can see that but as you move up and down it moves the wheel so you just want to take it to the limit of the servo and then go to the right and do the same thing take it out as far as you can so until the mechanical limits of the tires can't turn anymore And then once you get done doing that, guys, you just go ahead and turn the rig off, turn your controller off, and you're all set. Then all you gotta do is turn everything back on, and now your endpoints are set. That easy, guys. Now also while I got you here, let's just go ahead and do a quick demonstration of how to calibrate the controller to the transmitter. Now this is super easy and I'm sure most people already know how to do this, but let's just do a little more just in case. So with your controller on already, you need to hold the set button as you turn your vehicle on. You'll start hearing this multitude of beeps and then you can let off of everything. So now it's in program mode. And with the controller set how you want it, no, don't touch anything. You hit the set button one time and it'll beep. Now it knows where neutral is. Full throttle and hit the set button. Now it knows where full throttle is. Full reverse or brake and the set button one more time. Let off of it. That's easy, guys. Now this fire team's endpoints are set. The ESC is calibrated to the transmitter. And it's time to rip. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, please punch that like button. And as always, feel free to comment. And if you're not subscribed, guys, I would really appreciate it. I'm Mike with RC4US. See you next time.